afternoon all. Remember the uh, big wind turbine which I last featured on my channel on April the 1st and yes the sighting of this thing was a bit of a joke because I had it at ground level but the unit itself is a proper serious wind turbine. It's 300 to 400 watts something like that. Useless here really because it would have to be so high to, to be any use that um, it would upset probably all the neighbours, the council and everyone else. So I can't really do anything with it but I thought it might be quite fun to take it apart. So let's start by taking this front thing off. There's a big bolt here which is, must be about 20 millimetres across the flats. A spring washer behind it. Let's take that off and see if I can get the uh, triangular blade or prop holder thing off. I'm not sure how much uh, encouragement. Oh, that's coming off quite easily by the look of it. Well, at least I thought it was. Maybe that's just the movement of the shaft within the body of the unit. Yeah, I think it might be. I'm not quite sure what's uh, involved in getting this off. Now, I really need a puller for this, but I don't have one, so just try and vibrate it off. Yep, that's come off and that's a tapered shaft, so that's what was holding that on. So now let's try and get the uh, faceplate off. Now this faceplate has both hex head screws, but it's quite a small key and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to put the required leverage on there. Oh, maybe I can. It seems to be coming undone already. But it also has um, Phillips head screws and they're a bit tight as well. There's only three of those. This, I'm not sure this is the right screwdriver for it, so maybe I'll concentrate on the uh, hex head screws and see if I can get those out. But um, that appears to be running all the way through to these receptacles at the back. Uh, so let's see how far I get with this. Now I am aware, of course, that this thing may have been precisely aligned in the factory and that by taking it apart I'm going to lose that alignment and never get it back but uh, I'm not quite sure what to do with this wind turbine anyway so I think I'll just risk it. Now this is proving to be quite tricky because I'm having to hammer the key into the bolt first because um, I don't know the bolts a bit tight and then turn it and uh, to get leverage I'm using this enormous bar a bit longer than it needs to be but that's giving me the leverage I need to turn some of the tighter bolts. Now some of these bolts are tight because there's some sort of sealant been put in them. Um, you can just see the uh, remnants of the sealant there. So they're in effect they've been glued in. Now I'm just going to switch my attention to this bit here for the moment because this actually rotates. It's pretty stiff but this rotates fully and continuously and so because obviously the wind turbine can rotate a full 360 so I'm assuming that in here there are slip rings because the wires in here there are three wires uh, brown blue and black and I'm assuming that they must go through slip rings in order that this thing can rotate continuously so I'm just going to take this plate off the bottom. It would be the bottom if it was the right way up. Because I'm just wondering whether the slip ring assembly will come out. The plate certainly comes off. And what, if anything, there is to see underneath it. And, oh, there's a massive circlet sure if that's visible but there is an enormous circlet that could be quite tricky to get out now these aren't the proper tools for the job but will these fine nose pliers span that gap yes they will will it grip the circlip enough to get it out possibly yeah 
the circ clip is out. Excellent. Now the only way I can see of getting this out, if indeed it does just slide out, is by that way B is by putting a couple of uh, blocks in here and trying to sort of lift it using the wood as a kind of dampener. I don't think that's coming out willingly, is it? No. See, I think everything is all a bit seized on this. So I've managed to get all these bolts out of the uh, front and the screws. And this front section is actually starting to come away now. It's um, got a lip on it, so it's held in. Yep, oh, and I can see some big wires. So if I can get that off, I'll probably have to uh, remove these bolts completely. Let's do that. Now I might be able to get the front off. Ah, there it comes. Let's just undo these bolts a bit more and I think we might be able to see something. So there are obviously some fairly major coils here. Um, this turns but if I, but it wobbles slightly so there's obviously a bearing at the back and if I get it too off axis it feels like it's scraping a bit so I don't like the feel of that. There's a big bearing on here. Uh, that doesn't seem to want to come off. It's probably been drifted onto there. I can't move that. Uh, that sits inside this uh, recess on the front plate. This does look like it's got fairly um, tight tolerances for the fitting of that and therefore the positioning of the armature here or this might be the stator actually this might just be magnets I don't know I wouldn't imagine there's um, coils on this center section if there's also coils on the outside I really don't know but um, I tried to pull that out but that doesn't seem to want to come out and I can feel it kind of scraping on these coils and that's obviously not a good thing to do but uh, yeah, it's quite a meaty thing, and I believe because of the three wires on the um, output that this is three phase. I don't know that for sure, but that's what I'm guessing. So that's what's inside the uh, generator bit of this big wind turbine. I suppose as you'd predict, some uh, very big coils, probably some big magnets in there somewhere. Now I probably should have marked this cover um, as to which holes go on which of these uh, bits here because that could affect the uh, positioning of the central shaft within the coils but I didn't mark it so uh, putting it back on is going to be largely guesswork just have to uh, make sure it feels smooth I guess right I'm going to put it back together cheerio